Good morning, good morning. What an absolute glorious day. Now I'm really worried that my camera's gonna run out of battery during this video, even though I've charged it. How are we doing? Hello. Oh, hi. I feel like I haven't been in a car with you guys for this type of video in a long time. So I'm super excited because the day, we're not going to Starbucks. We are going to Costa, which I definitely feel like is definitely left out of these types of videos. Everyone always goes to Starbucks. Come on, we're gonna give Costa some love today. Does Costa exist in other countries? Don't know. Um, so today we are off to Costa, drive through, all securely, all safety. How you guys been? I... Huh. Oh, my last video, yeah. My hair's getting so long, guys. I'm gonna have to give it a little trim. Um, yeah, so the last video obviously was me trying Halloween sweets and giving you a little life update and doing assumptions and that was great. And um, thing is now, Lingland, Lingland, England is back in lockdown, um, which is a shame. But to protect people, it has to be done. Can't moan, just gotta get on with it. We've been through it once before, we can do it again. I find it a little bit more difficult this time because like I said, I feel like we were given that little taste of free, I hate saying the word freedom, but taste of freedom where you can mingle with six people or like including yourself, like five other people in your house, indoors, outdoors, all that sort of stuff. And it felt almost normal. We could go to pubs and stuff. And now we can't do that. We're in lockdown until the 5th. Anyway, we're gonna move on from this. We're gonna go try the Quality Street Limited Edition Christmas drinks. Are they coffee, are they hot chocolate? I'm not quite sure. But either way, I'm super excited because it's gonna feel like normal times. Get yourself all wrapped up. I've got my cardigan on. Just my little winter cardigan. We're just gonna chat. We're just gonna have a good old time. Trying it, just forget whatever's going on in your mind right now. Relax, chill, take a deep breath. Hope if you're watching me in the bath, don't relax too much because I don't want you falling asleep underwater. Um, <laughs> why do I speak? How are you guys? How are you getting on? Let me know how you are feeling. If you're from London, if you're from anywhere, just want to know how you are. I feel like you guys are me. Like, I just feel like you are me. You are my people. It's insane. Like, um, like sometimes I read comments on other people, you, uh, other people's YouTube and other people's YouTube videos and I'm like I don't think they're similar but I can hand on heart say that the majority of people that comment on my videos and hopefully watch are just like me which I love which I love I do love it it makes me feel less lonely oh got fizzy nose <laughs> I'm not sad don't get me wrong but it's just a bit lonely isn't it but I'm getting through it. I could have it far off worse. I could have it so much worse. And I know we always say it's all about relative, but need to put stuff into perspective. Two words that I've not stopped using this year. Perspective, relative, all relative. I know I said that we're not gonna speak about relationships anymore for the time being, but I will say this. I'm gonna ask you a question. Could you date someone who is a YouTuber, who has a following, who is in the YouTube public eye, whatever you wanna say? Could you date someone whose job it is, is to document their life, take photos, do TikToks? Have you ever thought about it? What are your views? If you did, would you wanna date someone? Would you wanna be, would you wanna be part of it? Would you wanna be part of their, like their content? Would you appear in daily vlogs or in Instagram? Because I feel like that's where I might be going wrong because I could be putting off the love of my life because they may feel like I'm showing too much online and they don't ever wanna be a part of that. They might think, oh, 
Okay, Mark's Mark's nice. He's a he's a nice guy, but he shares too much online. I'm scared of that. But for me personally, if I was dating someone and they were like, I don't want to be online. I don't want to be there. I would be like, do you know what? 100%. Okay, fine. Because all I want is your love. <laughs> I think that's a really interesting conversation to have. Like, yeah, I don't think I've ever brought that up. Like, would, could you date someone with a profile? With a, oh my God, there was almost a fudging crash. Oh my God. Yeah, could you date someone who, who had like lots of followers? Like, could I date someone with lots of followers? Like, and I'm talking, I've got like, I've got a fair few followers, but I'm talking about, could I, could I date someone who had like 10 million followers? 20 million? Oh, they changed the name of that restaurant. There is a sandwich shop coming up in Wallington, which I all want you to go to and support because he's like the nicest guy and the sandwiches and the baguettes and the food is out of this world. Have I driven past it? No, I haven't. Okay, so it's 157 Bandon's Bakehouse on Lavender Vale and it's open. So if you live in my area, please go there. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now because you guys don't wanna see what's coming out of my mouth. You just wanna see what's going in it. <laughs> this is why my battery runs out because I'm always talking. What I was gonna say is I hope we can get all three. Now there's three limited edition coffee slash chocolates. I'm not sure what they are, but we're gonna see if we can get all three. And then I'm going to my parents' house, which I'm allowed to because they're in my social bubble, and give them the remainders because I just don't think like me having three coffees and hot chocolates at the same time is gonna do well for my little belly or my bum hole. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go, that's what I wanted to say. Also, I've got to say, mum, I know if you're watching this, my mum tells me off for not having two wheels on the hand wheel at the same time. Now, I know. Technically, you should have both hands on the steering wheel, but there's no excuse for being a confident driver. I never have both hands off the wheel. Like, if I was going really slow, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't be doing that. I do apologize for anyone who has been worried about me taking my hands off the wheel at any sort of point, any sort of speed. Um, I will not be doing that anymore. Two, one hand on the wheel at all times. Two hands on the wheel at all times. Sorry, mum. Love ya. Oh my God, I used to come here when I was younger. I actually been trampoline parking over there. McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, Merry Cheesemus, oh. You know when, uh, like I used to do boot sales with my mum and my aunt, and like my mum would be unpacking the car, like setting up the table for everyone, and people would just be going through the stuff before my mum's like set it up and stuff. It used to really wind me up. And then they used to like, see, look in the car to see if there was any like, what's it called? Any treasures. That annoys me. But I, what I found out as I got older, they do that, so they buy it, and then they sell it on at their boot sale for a cheap, um, more expensive price. Naughty. Oh, there's a coconut in here. Hello. Oh, I've just spilled it down there, bloody hell. Oh my God, they're all hot chocolates. Why is it so dark? Hello? They're all hot chocolates. I'm not gonna even have my coffee. So we've got after eight, <clears throat> after eight hot chocolate, the purple one, latte. Okay, there's, there's one coffee. Sorry for shouting. <laughs> I haven't had a coffee this morning and I just feel like I need one. And a Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate. Beautiful, excited, can't wait. Living life to the full as much as you can these days. I actually, oh, that's better. I actually prefer you up here. It's like we're closer. I'm gonna get the, the pork apple sausage roll. Ugh. Just wanted to try the Christmas menu, didn't I? After eight, purple one, Terry's chocolate orange. What is the purple one? Oh, it's hazelnut. After eight, am I gonna get drunk? No, after eight's not an alcoholic one, is it? I can't remember. It just says exclusively. Oh my God. Why do I still get nervous doing this? I'm such an idiot. Morning. Just 
Just a second. Oh, hi. <laughs> Could I get a small purple one latte? Very much. Uh, no, thank you. Just a um, after eight hot chocolate. Just a oh, sorry. No cream, right? For the purple. No cream. And the second? The second is after eight hot chocolate. The sm uh, a small one. Three months up. No, thank you. So small. Terry's after eight. No cream. And then yeah, and then a Terry's chocolate orange. A small yeah. a small one with no cream. So none of them with cream. No, none with cream. And then can I get a pork and apple sausage roll, please? Um, I'm not sure if you have them. Just give me a second. Okay. Yeah, so pork and apple sausage roll. Yep, that's everything, please. And you want to warm, yeah? Yes, thank you. Okay, grab them. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, have I got my wallet? Oh, it's in my fucking bum. So, managed to get all three and a pork and apple sausage roll. There was like a Christmas holly leaf on it, so I was just like, I'm going to get that as well. Yeah, I definitely need to trim my hair a bit. It's getting out of hand. Getting absolute, look, look how long it is. Oh God, I think I was a little bit too enthusiastic with the morning. I was like, morning. <laughs> uh, lovely day today though, isn't it? Oh, and it's a bit cloudy over there. I feel like McDonald's should do a Christmas menu. I feel like they might have done though in the past. Sometimes I do forget that you can't reply. So when I'm speaking, I'm like, why is no one playing? <laughs> I feel like I have so much like self-confidence these days, but I'm still such an awkward Mary. Like, so if your name's Mary, I'm not saying that you, if your name's Mary, you're awkward. It's just a saying, isn't it? Oh, here we go. It just gets so, I think it's because I'm filming, that's why. Oh God. Hello. Hey, all right. Good, how are you? I'm good. 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 Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks, Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Something about his look when he looked at the after eight made me a little bit... I've got a hole in these jeans. A little bit... Oh my god, the queue's so long now. A little bit curious. His little look. Right, where can I park that's away from everyone? You know us, we like our little corners, don't we? Oh, nay! How do I get out? Oh, no! Oh. What? That's not good. I wanted to go park over there. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've just found a little spot. Are you joking? Look at that view! That view is so beautiful. Oh my god, I think I found a new place to take an Instagram photo. That view is so lovely. I want to come here for a little date. That view, I can't wait to show you that view. Let's open the window a little bit. So, the Terry's chocolate orange is one of my new favourite things. Obviously, I love Terry's chocolate orange, but in the past, I haven't been that much of a fan. I just love them strawberry cream things from like roses and stuff. So let's try this. I think this is my first Terry's chocolate, orange, hot chocolate. Ooh. I don't know if I fill this outfit today. I'm gonna hide these because I feel like it's just making me not look great. This has got a kick. Do you know what it's got? A Christmas kick. When I first drank this, I was like, mmm, tastes a bit bitter. But now I'm like, oh my God, it definitely tastes like a Terry's chocolate orange. I love that they put that on top. That's such a cute little touch. I'm gonna try some of the pork. Oh. I don't eat sausage rolls, ever, really. 
I eat cheese and onion rolls. Oh, oh my god, I feel like I need to do another thumbnail. I could actually cry. I'm not the biggest fan of sausage. Oh my god, 2020 has been saved. 2020 has been saved by this sausage roll. Oh my god. Wow. I'm so, oh, That's one of the best sausage rolls I've ever had. Moving on to the purple one. Christmas. So, hazelnut. So yeah, very nutty. Very smooth, very velvety. Stronger than the, the Terry's chocolate or, orange. <laughs> orange. I feel like if I was going on a sophisticated meeting, I would order this one over the Terry's chocolate orange. This is the latte, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably why it's stronger. I prefer this one so far. After eights, love mint, not the biggest fan of after eights. Um, they just remind me of like the box that is never eaten at my house. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't, I, I've never seen anyone eat or buy a box of after eights. Let me know if you enjoy them. Like if they're there and the box is open and I'm starving, obviously I like, I'm going to open the package. No wonder he gave it a weird look because it's pooing everywhere. Let's leave that. Okay, so after eight, which I imagine, after eight, which I think is mint. Oh my gosh. This is exactly like a melted extra, no. <laughs> This is exactly like a melted after eight. Oh, Zoe's going to love this. My dad's going to like this. Oh my God. I mean, I prefer coffee over hot chocolate. How's my teeth looking? Um... Like, I would choose coffee over hot chocolate because I just love coffee so much. It's so bad. But... I don't think there's going to be any left for my family to drink later. Let me try this again. Nah, this is a clear winner. The purple one latte. It tastes like... You know those people that make hot chocolate in a saucepan and they pour it in into the glass and it looks perfect and there's like a few hazelnuts in there and it's like creamy and it's got like a little bit of caramel. I think this is my winner. That view's so nice. Looks so much closer in real life. So I think it's back to Mark Explores England again. Now we are allowed to travel. But I can only do it with my sister, which is fine, obviously. This sausage roll, though. I'm going to have to take this off. So, guys, thanks so much for trying the new Costa Christmas menu with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's any other food places that you want me to try out. I've got all the time in the world. Um... Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Love you so much. Till the next video. Goodbye.